In this video, we're going to use uh, VMware Workstation 10 to create a uh, Windows Technology Preview uh, installation, which is our uh, preview of Windows 10. So we'll click on Create a New Virtual Machine and go into Custom. Now this assumes that you've downloaded the ISO already from Microsoft. Okay, so under Hardware Compatibility, just keep it at the highest possible level there and we'll go ahead and click Next. And what we have from Microsoft is an installer disk image file, the ISO file that you got, right? So we can go ahead and click on Browse, and we want to go into, in my case, Root of C, where I've put the technology preview. Okay, and you see it says, could not detect which operating system is in this disk image because it's just too new. We'll go ahead and click Next and we're going to choose Microsoft Windows as the operating system and we'll go and choose Windows 8, the highest available as the um, version. Um, I've, I'm installing the 32-bit uh, technology preview. If you were doing the 64-bit you would want the, the 8x64. Okay, So we go ahead and click on Next and then we have our location, which we're going to want to change. At least I want to change it because I have uh, more room on a separate disk. So we can click on Browse, go to this PC, and I want it on this 232 gigabyte drive here. And I'll make a new folder. I'll just call it VM for Virtual Machine. Maybe I'll add uh, Win 10 after that and make sure that's selected and click OK and click on Next and I'm just going to keep it at one processor I find that works better even if your computer has dual processing and uh, we are going to want to raise our memory up to at least 2 gigabyte for this installation this is a four gigabyte machine, so I don't want to give it too much. And uh, bridge networking is better in that the machine, the virtual machine, will have its own IP address, which means you can uh, connect to it easier for, uh, you know, remote control or whatever you want to do. We'll say next and keep the uh, recommended SCSI controller. Keep the SCSI as recommended there and we're going to create a new virtual disk. They're recommending 60 for the Windows 8. I'm going to go ahead and give a bit more room and say 100 gigabyte because there's plenty of room on that drive. You can choose to allocate all disk space now which can help um, enhance performance but that will also take much longer uh, for initial setup so I'm going to avoid that at the moment and a uh, single file split into multiples. I'm going to choose store as a single file. Go ahead and click Next. Windows 10 is what we're building here, not Windows 8. Well, I guess back uh, there was probably a point where we could have changed to this Windows 8. Let's quickly go check that out. Where would that be? Da, 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 there it is. Should have put it in here. And I'll just put TP after that for technology preview. And of course, as you can see, you can back up if you change your mind before you commit. Okay, perfect. Next. Now you do have a chance here to customize hardware. Okay, so make sure your memory is good processors that you want. Uh, you need the CD connected at power on because it's going to use the ISO to install the OS. Uh, network of course we want and need that. USB is always a good idea. Sound card, that's great. Printers, display, it all looks good. So we'll close that. And uh, once I press finish here, essentially what should happen is it should create the core uh, file needed for the virtual machine and then into the CD 
and try and install the operating system. So let's see how that works. Finish. Okay. And okay, it's gonna it's asking me to actually start the boot. So the core has been created. Now we're gonna power on this virtual machine. And here's the Windows 10 logo. Of course that may change. This is just a technology preview here. Not much in the way of animation happening. Hopefully there's cool things happening in the background. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I am going to close this little bit here to give myself more room. Now, language. Of course, you want to set these to the values that you want. I'm in Canada, so just uh, change the time and currency format there. And next, install now. Setup is starting. Thrilling. Uh, let's go full screen. As it says here, to release input, press Control and Alt. Okay, if you want to get out of full screen mode. Okay, of course we want to accept the license terms. Click Next. Um, dun dun dun. Well, this is a fresh install, so we'll go ahead there. Fresh install. Our unallocated space in the virtual machine. We can go ahead and click on Next. And then, of course, it's going to do its big uh, installing Windows thing. So I am going to pause recording at this point because there's no point in watching this very long process. And we'll get back to things when the visually it gets interesting again. Okay, so here we have the first interesting installation screen settings, and we have our express setting. Uh, option down here in the bottom right or we can customize it I'm going to uh, go ahead with their recommendation and just take the Express settings because I do want uh, basically a typical installation so I can see what most other people are going to be seeing alright so we're going to click ahead on use Express settings next you'll set up your account alright Okay, and here is where you can sign into an existing Microsoft account or create a new account. I am going to uh, sign in and I'm going to pause the video to do so, so etc. etc. And I'll see you on the next screen. Okay, and then let's see when accessing sensitive info. Yeah, we're just going to say, I can't do this right now. But you could give them your cell phone number or whatever if you like. Finalizing. Hi. Here we have it, as you see in the bottom right hand corner, Windows Technical Preview, build 9841. And in the upper left here we have a Welcome to Tech Preview icon that we can uh, explore. And um, that's it, we have her installed and we're ready to play. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.